today we are going to change the wheel color to bronze. So some of you guys had saw a previous video where I was interested in changing the wheel color to a gunmetal. Um, I absolutely love that color. Uh, but the back of my mind, I've always wanted to do bronze as well um, with a white vehicle. So today I'm actually gonna do that. I'm going to paint the wheels bronze and we're just gonna see how good they look. I'll do a comparison of the gunmetal, um, the current color, which is black, as well as bronze. Um, and I'm going for like that darker Volk uh, CE color bronze. It's not gonna be like a bright gold or even a copper. Um, the color of the paint is actually called antique brass. Um, and it's, it is, I mean, it's a dark bronze. So uh, let me show you guys what that paint actually looks like. We're gonna take the wheels off the car. We're gonna clean them. Um, we're gonna scuff them up just a little bit so the paint applies a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna put some primer on the wheels and then lay down some uh, either playing cards or note cards and get the wheels painted. And I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Hopefully it'll only take me a couple of hours. Um, I have some other projects around the house that I need to be doing as well. Um, getting my house ready for sale. So I'm gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna record some of this process for you guys and we're gonna see how they turn out. So stay tuned and Let's get this video rolling. Right, guys so the wheels are off um, now we're gonna take them outside we are gonna give them a thorough cleaning bring them back into the garage um, dry them off hit them with the heat gun and then we are going to uh, scuff up the exterior surface that's shiny that way the primer has something to adhere to so let's take them outside let's get them washed guys so the next step is to actually get down and scuff these wheels up um, I have a scotch bright pad here so we're just going to take the shine off of these knock that down a bit nothing major and then we can get through the process of getting these painted so it'll go from that to that right there so let me set you guys up. We're gonna go through high speed and get all these wheels done.
So I just finished scratching up or prepping the surface. I have a tack cloth um, and now I'm just gonna go through, give it a quick wipe down and then we are ready for, almost ready for paint I should say. You know, I still gotta put the index cards uh, to line the inside of the tire. Honestly, I guess it doesn't it doesn't really matter at this point because um, I'm gonna get some new tires within the next couple of days. Um, either way though, take some pride in your work. Mask, mask off or um, like I am, use some sort of index card or something to make sure that there's no paint that gets on the tire, even if it's temporary. Um, but let me go ahead and finish doing the tack cloth here. I'll show you guys the final product and then we'll go get the paint. So here is the uh, prepped wheel. Um, they did get a quick tack cloth. Um, now I'm gonna lay out the wheel protectant, AKA my cards, and then we're gonna get to spraying. Don't forget if you do this, get yourself a mask. Um, I've replaced mine, you guys have seen one in the other video that I got from Harbor Freight. Um, it was time to replace it because uh, the last couple of times I was painting, I got high, and that's not good. So, um, let's go ahead and lay out the index cards. Let's get the paint, which has been warming in water, um, so that it can ionize a little bit better, and then we're going to lay down our first coats of primer. Okay, so the first uh, coat is going to be with this Fast Drying Gray Primer. Um, now I'm going with gray just because um, it makes it a little bit easier to see the coverage on the black wheel. And then once all four wheels are completely solid gray, then I'm going to go back to the automotive black primer because I want my base to be black as well. Um, some of you guys are probably going to be saying, why not just throw the, the paint over the existing black? I could definitely do that, but um, I want it to at least resemble a decent paint job. Um, and more importantly, you know, when I do get these new tires on here, um, I'd want the paint to at least try to stand up to the machine that throws these wheels on. It may or may not. Um, it doesn't matter. I've got a ton of paint, touch-up paint. Um, but this is the method I'm going. So we're going to do a couple rounds of primer. Then we're going to get into the bronze. And then finally, we're going to get into a clear coat. Um, haven't decided if I want to go with a gloss or if I want to go with a satin. Um, I have both. But let me go ahead and set you guys up, and we're going to get into laying down this gray. So this is the paint that I'm putting down. So this is Rust-Oleum Metallic Antique Brass. And this is the color that it's gonna come out. So I've got the wheels. They have been cooking in the garage with the heater blowing on them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish shaking up the paint. We're gonna put it on the gun and then we're gonna get the first layer sprayed. So let's get to it.
Here is coat number two. This was a thicker wet coat. I also dusted the lug nuts so that they would somewhat match instead of being black. Um, lighting's pretty bad. Sun's about to go down. But this is what you're looking at. So we're gonna go one more coat tomorrow and then we're gonna hit it with the clear coat and then get them mounted. So let's fast forward to tomorrow. Psych. So, change of plans. I'm actually going to finish this tonight. So I'm going to do one more coat of the antique brass. Um, and then I'm going to try to get at least two coats, possibly just one coat of the clear. Because I need the wheels back on the car tonight. Because um, I have some things that I'm doing in the morning. So I can't extend this until tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and knock this out. All right, guys, so this is the final coat of antique brass. Um, I hit each of the wheels with the heat gun, kind of locking the paint in place. I also got these guys dusted so that when I put them on, like I said before, they'll match with this. But we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna hit it with uh, the clear. And then from there, we're gonna get them mounted to the car and then have them just sit here in the garage until tomorrow. So let's fast forward to the clear. So this is it boys, this is the final color. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on the car and then we will move the car out of the driveway, bring the Escalade inside and we are done. Now, with this being a uh, completely finished garage, the temperature in here should get up to around 60, 65 degrees um, since it leaches some temperature off of the house. Um, so it should be just enough, uh, you know, heat to allow these to, to somewhat set up. Um, they are dry to the touch at this point, uh, but they definitely could use, you know, a solid 24 hours of baking in the sun. So tomorrow when the sun's out, car will be outside. Uh, these will be outside fully curing, um, but I'd love to get some daytime shots for you guys. So let's go ahead and put the wheels back on the car and drop it to the ground, see how it looks.
All right guys, so that was the end of the video. What did you guys think of the bronze wheels? I personally think that they came out pretty good. Um, so in the meantime, I do have a few more videos that are gonna be coming out within the next week or two. One of them is gonna be an overhaul of the engine bay, and then the one after that, uh, depending on which one I feel like releasing first, is gonna be a testing of some parts that a vendor um, and sponsor is gonna be sending us. So uh, that one should be a really cool one. Um, you guys stay tuned. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy some football coming up. Uh, once again, this is Fahrenheit Motorsports. You guys take it easy.